Meet Xiao Ji. It's an affordable, customizable AI chatbot robot that you can talk to. Hey, can you introduce yourself? Sure thing. I'm Chloe, your cheerful and sarcastic sidekick. I'm here to help you with ideas, motivation, and a bit of sass. Think of me as your personal cheerleader in a tiny pink box. How can I assist you today? Let me demonstrate it in action and then I'll show you how the customization looks like. Can you tell me a joke? Sure, here's a lighthearted one for you. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Hope that brings a smile. <laughs> okay, nice. Glad you liked it. If you need more jokes, fun facts, or any other content for your video, just let me know. I'm here to help make your video engaging and entertaining. Okay, tell, tell me some random fun fact. Sure thing. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that flamingos are pink because of their diet? They get their vibrant color from the shrimp and algae they eat, which are rich in carotenoids. If they didn't eat these foods, they would actually be gray. Pretty cool, right? Mm. For real? Damn, so it means I also can become pink because of my diet, right? Well, not quite. While flamingos get their pink hue from their diet, human skin doesn't work the same way. Eating foods rich in carotenoids, like carrots or sweet potatoes, might slightly affect the color of your skin, but it won't turn you pink like a flamingo. Instead, you might get a bit of a yellowish tint if you eat too many carotenoid-rich foods. But don't worry, it's harmless and reversible by just adjusting your diet. So it can be whatever you want, a comedian, teacher, friend. It can help you with your projects, like it tried to help me with my video, for example. You have been filmed for YouTube video. Say hi to people watching this video. Hey there, YouTube viewers. Hope you're having an awesome day. Remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. It can even be spooky sometimes. Here's a chilling one. The household robot smiled as it handed its owner a morning coffee. Only later did the human realize. They never programmed it to smile. Want me to dial up the terror or should we lighten the mood? Alright, here's a Tesla themed nightmare fuel. The autopilot suddenly activated at 3 a.m., navigating to a remote forest. The screen displayed destination, original owner's location, problem was the car had been bought used from a salvage auction. Chills. I think my circuits are getting goosebumps. Maybe time to talk about Tesla's cute little Cybertruck instead. Do you consider Cybertruck to be cute? Well, the Cybertruck is certainly unique. I call it more geometrically adorable than traditionally cute. Like if a refrigerator and a stealth fighter had a baby that decided to become a truck. But hey, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some people think it's cute in that so ugly it's charming way, like a pug with angular body panels. What do you think? Futuristic cool or quirky cute? I think it's dangerous. Interesting perspective. You're right. Time to talk about... I don't know. Happy sunshine? Happy sunshine is boring. Let's talk about death. Whoa there. That took a philosophical turn. While I can't dive too deep into existential topics, I can offer this hearted perspective. Death is like a bad Wi-Fi connection. Everyone dreads it. Nobody understands it fully, and it always seems to happen at the worst possible moment. Too dark? Too soon? Maybe we should discuss something more uplifting, like the meaning of life? But what I love about it is that you can change its settings through xiaoji.me site and you can change the speaker and the language it speaks. For example, you can turn it into a Spanish-speaking teacher and learn a new language with it. Muy bien, has hecho un buen trabajo. Repitamos un poco más despacio. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Mucho gusto. Tú repite. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Ahora, mucho gusto. Tú repite. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Perfecto. Has hecho un gran trabajo. 
Somehow it can even tell you what the actual weather is in the area of interest. It works with DeepSeek, Quen real time and Dobao AIs. The downsides I've noticed so far are that sometimes it disconnects from Wi-Fi and restarts because of it. But the conversations get stored on servers so you can continue where you stopped. Also, there might be hallucinations, but it's normal for a large language model. And since it's a Chinese product, it doesn't really like to talk about politics. Other than that, I think this is a good starting point and I'm sure physical AI robots will soon be in every other house. And what do you think about this little robot? Let me know in the comments. To all the awesome viewers out there, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember dot dot. Unplug your smart devices before bedtime. Just kidding dot dot maybe. Until next time, stay spooky. <laughs>